Hey there, it's Alex from Phantom Mister here. Today I'm going to be talking you through how to automate your Slack message sending. We've all been there where we've had to copy and paste over and over again to send messages to different colleagues. So of course we wanted to help you automate it instead and save you some time. You'll need two things. The first is a Slack account and the second, of course, a Phantom Buster account. And we'll be using two Phantoms, so you should have two free slots on your account. If you type Slack into the search bar, you'll find them. The first thing that we need to do is extract all of the users that we want to send messages to. That's our Slack channel user extractor. And then, of course, we're going to chain it to our Slack message sender to send them those messages. So let's get started by clicking on Use This Phantom. Now, the first thing, as always, is to connect Phantom Buster to your Slack account, it needs your Slack cookie. So make sure that you've installed our browser extension and that you're logged into your Slack account on your browser. Then you simply have to click on connect to Slack and your cookie will automatically appear. The next thing the Phantom needs is your Slack workspace URL. This can usually be found by clicking on your company name in the top left of your Slack account and it's right underneath it. And it normally looks something like this, your company name, Dot slack dot com. Click save to head to the next step. The next thing you need to do is tell the Phantom which channel you would like to extract the users from. If you want to extract all of your colleagues, you can use general. Otherwise, you can extract the users from a specific channel. I'm going to use our fabulous support team channel to extract each of those users. If you'd like to extract the users from many different channels, you can, of course, as always, use a Google spreadsheet for that, list each of the channels in your Google Sheet and use its URL as input here. Click Save. Now you can tell the Phantom how many channels you would like to process per launch if you are scraping multiple channels or how many users to scrape per channel. I want to scrape them all and I'm only using one channel, so I'm leaving both of these fields empty for now, but I want to direct you towards one little feature that's scrape all channels every launch. And this is really handy if you want to keep on top of any new users that are being added to channels. That means the Phantom will process the channel with every launch and extract those new users as well as the ones you've already extracted. Click save, save and now you can launch the Phantom. As I'm only using one channel, it should run pretty quickly and just take a number of seconds. And there you go. Once it's finished launching, you'll have your results file that contains all of the users of the channels that you have scraped. Great, now we wanna send them messages. So let's go back to the Phantom store and find our Slack message sender. Same as before, connect to Slack Use your workspace URL, hit save. Now you're gonna chain the message sender to the Phantom that you've just used. There you go, you can connect its results file so that it uses these users. And the most important part, writing your message. There's a lovely one here, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to write my own. You can use placeholder tags. I'm going to say, hey, first name, why is everything going? with your, it's the title tag there, role. So these tags will vary for each user depending on their first name and their title, of course. You can choose the number of messages to send per launch. By default, the Phantom will send a max of 10 and this is just to keep your account safe so it's not sending too many in one go. I wanna direct you again towards another little feature. Here, you'll see that the Phantom by default will only send messages to users who are online whenever it's launching. So if you wanna change that and send the message anyway, you can simply untick the box. Then click save. I'm just going to launch manually. I'm also going to just send one message in order to keep things quick. And so I'm going to launch it. And there you can see once your Phantom has finished its launch, your results file will appear here, which will allow you to keep track of who it has sent messages to. You can, of course, also keep track of that on Slack by heading over there and seeing that messages have been sent from your account without you having to lift a finger and without your colleagues even knowing the difference. So this is going to save you a lot of time. Remember, if your Phantom is set up to launch repeatedly, it'll continue to send your messages throughout the day or throughout the week, depending on how many messages you're sending. So I hope that helps. And if you're using this workflow, please do drop us a comment below. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep track of any new automated workflows that we'll be posting about. See you soon.